Uh, good evening friends, I am Dr. S. Rajasundaram, I am a surgical oncologist, right now working as director of Clinical Global Hospital Health City uh, Institute of Global Oncology. See today we are going to discuss about a very very important topic which is colorectal cancers. So colorectal cancer, why it is an important topic is it is a rising in trend and uh, like previously we are known for oral cancers, lung cancers and uh, breast cancer and cervical cancer in women. But now because of the modified life ch lifestyles and lifestyle changes, the colorectal cancers are uh, on the rise. So, I will briefly discuss about what is colon and rectum and what is the function, what is anatomy and uh, how the cancers are formed and what is the trend which is treated. So, colorectal cancers, colon and rectum is nothing but the otherwise called as large intestine which is around 5 feet length. So, the intestine starts like this uh, esophagus this is a foot pipe and then stomach and the small intestine then starts as large intestine. So, large intestine around 5 feet length which is consists of 5 parts which is ascending cecum, ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, sigmoid colon and final part is called rectum. The final 5, 15 centimeters is called rectum and the rectum because it is a straight structure. And the colorectal cancers are commonly discussed together because most of the time they, they behave in the similar pattern. Though there are some variations, but generally they behave in the similar pattern. So, colorectal cancers are discussed as together. What is, the, what is the function of the colon and rectum? So, normally when we eat food, it gets digested in the stomach and intestine and then it gets the, the last material comes into the colon and rectum. So, the colon absorbs the water and salt from the food content and the final part is con, con the stools and then comes and stays in the rectum. And the, the end of the rectum is called the anal sphincter which has got a smooth muscles and sphincter is, is controlled by the brain. And whenever they have a urge to pass tools and when the situation is all right, the sphincter relaxes and they pass tools. So, this is how the colon and rectum functions. So, mainly it is a reservoir and it is absor for absorption of water and the salt. So, this is the main important function because otherwise we will be passing motion very often. So, what uh, the pathology it happens is. Uh, I have told you about the anatomy and physiology, what the pathology, how the cancers can come. So, not normally cancers can arise as cancer in situ or it can arise from a polyp. So, what are polyps? Polyps are just like a mucosal folds, mucosal elevations that occur in the colorectal mucosa. So, if you take colon and rectum, the mucosa it is formed by 5 layers. So, mucosa, submucosa, lamina propria and then muscular layer, 2 layers of muscular layer and then adventitia. So, it is the innermost part is called mucosa, there the, it starts as a polyp, the various kinds of polyp, one is adenomatous polyps, in that there are three types, tubular, tubular villus and villus polyps. So, most of them the adenomatous polyps can turn into malignancy, it starts as a small polyp and slowly grows and then over a period of years it can turn into malignancy, that is cancer. So, second is the villus polyps, definitely they may turn into cancers, so we have to really check whether we have polyp. If there is any polyp, we have to remove it colonoscopically and then if there is any other polyp, it has to be observed whether it is changed into cancer or going to change into cancer and it treated accordingly. And other polyps are hyperplastic polyps or inflammatory polyps, they do not turn into malignancy. So, there are various polyps and this is the commonest pre-malignant condition. The second is maybe constipation, all these things can lead on to uh, colorectal cancers. Why colorectal cancers on the rise is because of the westernization that we follow. So, we take high calorie diet, high fat diet, a lot of red meat and uh, most of the processed food. All these things with a change in lifestyle, sedentary lifestyle, unhealthy lifestyle, smoking and uh, phys less of physical activity. All these things produces uh, more of colorectal cancer. That is why which was not, uh, which was a very rare disease in our country, it has become a very common disease in our country now. So, colorectal cancers. So, if you take the incidence, now compared to 2004 and 5, 2014 and 15, there is 25 to 35 percent increase in colorectal cancers, which is alarming. So, which is going to go and increase more and more. If you take the 5 year survival rates, so 5 year survival rate is almost the same as a 40 percent around uh, for the last 5 10 years. There is uh, increase in treatment modalities, but still the 5 year survival, maybe because the patients are coming little too late. There are four stages of cancer, stage 1, 2, 3 and 4. If it is stage 1, if it is a polyp changing, turning into malignancy, we can treat colonoscopically and uh, we can get away with that. So, how do you make a diagnosis of it is, it is always 
we have to do a procedure called colonoscopy that is you pass a small uh, tube uh, endoscope from the anus and then check the entire colon can be done under anesthesia without any pain and once we check that uh, there is any polyp or any malignancy then we take a biopsy confirm it then we do a CT scan or whole body PET scan when indicated then if we make a diagnosis of adenocarcinoma or mucinous carcinoma or resignant cell ring carcinoma then we make a treatment for part of it. So, I told you there are four stages if it is a very early stage stage 1 we can do treatment endoscopically or limited resections and uh, we can do a transcendental resection without removing the entire rectum and if it is uh, a little advanced there are three modalities of treatment surgery, chemotherapy and radiotherapy. The good thing is it responds well to chemotherapy, it well responds well to radiotherapy and it is uh, most of the time treated well with surgery. We will take up surgery first. So, surgery is depending on the stage. So, if it is stage 1 and 2, the tumor spreads if it is stage 1 uh, it is confined to the mucosa and submucosa, if it is stage 2 it spreads through the serosa and then if it is going into the lymph nodes then it becomes stage 3 or if it is goes in the blood through the blood vessel into the liver commonly into the liver and to the lungs it becomes stage 4. So, accordingly we treat, make the treatment planning. So, if it is stage 4 the treatment is first is uh, chemotherapy plus targeted therapy we have we have to assess KRAS mutation and NRAS mutation BRAF mutation and these are all tests done by the biopsy sample and uh, with, according to the mutation we give treat the patient with we find out whether it is a wild type or mutant type accordingly we give targeted therapy and chemotherapy with stage 4. Stage 3 we give a concurrent chemo radiation that is chemotherapy plus radiation especially in rectal cancer to shrink the tumor nicely and then uh, go for surgery. So, that you can preserve the sphincter our aim is to in a rectal cancer to preserve the sphincter so that you avoid permanent colostomy. So, when it comes to surgery for colon and rectum. So, if it is early stage cancer we perform surgery as upfront. So, most of the time it is lapros laparoscopic surgery or robotic surgery we remove the colon or rectum either laparoscopically or robotic uh, with robotic surgery and then we reconnect the colon to the rectum the end, end part of the rectum or colon to colon so that we avoid colostomies. Colostomy is the bags which are kept to pass motion in the anterior abdominal wall. So, our aim is to avoid colostomy previously if you take 10 years back most of the patients with rectal cancers had been having only colostomies and the permanent colostomies, but with the modern treatment modalities we try and avoid colostomy. So, the permanent colostomy rate has come down to 10 percent. So, 90 percent of the time we preserve the sphincter with neoadjuvant chemo radiation or with good surgery if it is early stage. So, I, I have told you about surgery and chemotherapy and radiotherapy and stage 4 if it is if it is stage 4 targeted therapy. So, once this treatment is done the patient uh, if it is uh, primary surgery if the st uh, stage comes to stage 3 the patient will need adjuvant chemotherapy and uh, sometimes adjuvant radiotherapy. If the patient comes they, they have to come for follow up every 3 months we do a blood test called serum CEA carcinoembryonic antigen and we do the scans every 6 months every 1 year we do CT scans and make sure that the disease under control or it is not there. And if the disease if it reoccurs then we treat according to the recurrence if it is liver disease we may either go for surgery or go for targeted therapy followed by surgery. So, accordingly the, so follow up is very very important. So, 5 years we follow up them for every 3 months then once in 6 months. Uh, if there is any other polyp during the follow up period then we remove it endoscopically colonoscopically. So, this is the uh, in total the treatment in short about colorectal cancers and uh, the main message that I want to tell you is we should not follow westernized lifestyle, we should have a healthy food and a healthy well cooked food not processed food and we should eat lot of vegetables and fruits fresh fruits and fresh vegetables have a, a good exercise and good um, amount of uh, lifestyle with good sleep and a relatively stress free life. As we adapt to all these things probably we may avoid colorectal cancers. And if you go for regular screening then we can pick up lesions at a very early stage at a polyp stage and then we can remove colonoscopically which is very very easy. So, I think I have given you a gist of uh, commonest cancer in the colon rectum which is adenocarcinoma. The other tumor that can occur is a carcinite tumor, a gist, gastrointestinal stromal tumor or uh, it can be a lymphoma, sarcoma all these things are very rare tumors which we do not have to discuss or worry about it. So, adenocarcinoma is a very common tumors and uh, if you if you pick up yearly it can be treated yearly. How do you make a diagnosis whenever there is the earliest symptom you should consult the doctor the right doctor. So, if there is altered bowel habits there is 
bleeding while passing uh, stools or if there is diarrhea alternate with constipation or constipation do not think that all that is hemorrhoids or fissure go to a proper surgeon consult a oncologist or medical gastroenterologist make sure that they do proper investigation sigmatoscopy or colonoscopy come to a conclusion whether it is cancerous or non cancerous and then reach a cancer surgeon and then make sure that you get the proper treatment thank you.